What's up guys, Brunsnick's back and I have the DV8 Captivate. This mid-range DV8 ball has hyperkinetic 22 technology, not a lot of flare, so it's going to be interesting to see what it does on the lanes. But before we get to that, please subscribe to my channel. Now, let's get this on the lanes and see what it does. All right, so we got the Captivate. Brand new release from DV8, green and gold, kind of wild colors. These are my high school colors. Layout, we went 64 and a half by 20. So similar, actually the exact same as all the other symmetrical balls we've done so far. So we'll start it further right in the track, progress in, and then uh, maybe we hit it with some surface. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We're on a fresh pattern called bass testing in house. I don't know if they like listen to like music or EDM or something, or if they're running baseball for MLB. But not a bad start from playing in the track, pretty straight there. Just to see if it holds pocket, which it does. It's a medium RG ball, 253, um, differentials in the 030s, I believe 038. And it's not a whole lot, so. You should be able to control patterns a little bit more when they start to dry up and get the most back end flip. Let's throw another one from that range. That looked pretty good. Yes. Split the 8-9 on the second shot. Once I get a little confidence with the ball, I see it do that right off my hand, then it's going to be a good day, Tater. All right. I'm going to keep it in that same zone. I want to see if uh, third time's a charm or if it gives me indications that I can maybe start moving in a little bit. That is in a little bit. All right. Missed it a little bit, still held pocket. You know, get my nine spare, I just picked it up. Nice, thank you. All right, let's start moving it in a little bit. Three boards, I think that's a normal move. And I'll start to soften the speed up a little bit. Because once we start opening our angles, we kind of have to do that on the fresh. Just runs it over. Okay. Maybe this will be one of those sneaky good balls that are just good for house shots, good for medium to dry, where it doesn't burn up because the core isn't super strong. So it maintains its axis rotation, maintains its flip, and that hyperkinetic 22 pearl cover gives it all the business on the back end. All right, I'm gonna move two off of that because that ran high flush. Okay. So that one delayed a little bit on the back end. Didn't go through it just as well as it did before. So two board move went from high flush almost nine pinning, almost seven pinning, whatever you want to call it, but going high where on the next shot after a pupil bowl on it, it might go creep up and go through the face. So we don't want that. You always want to try to stay ahead of the transition. We'll try one more from that same spot. See if I could pro pure it again. That is nice. Yeah. yeah. That's a ball you can just stay soft with on the fresh for you guys that really rev it up. This could be a ball you stick with all night and shoot huge numbers. Huge numbers. Waiting for my ball here. Come on, ball. I'm trying to do this in one take. All right, I'm gonna move a couple more. Two more off that spot. 
We're still out of box here, so I haven't touched the surface. We're just waiting to see what it does. It's got to hook a lot. All right. Starting to get into that zone where I don't really have the confidence that it's going to get back out of box. You know, it doesn't have the strong core. It wants to stay a little straighter in the front. That kind of translates to squeezing at the bottom and not really catching it. But I'll try it again. And if this one does not get through, then it's surface time. Better off the hand. Yeah, okay. Needs surface. So, my trusty 2000 pad that's seen some action lately. If you haven't found the other videos, go check them out. We're gonna hit this with some surface. See if we can't knock the shine off because it has a compound finish. So not super glossy, but also not super dull. Now, I should be able to be a little bit more of a hack than I am and just kind of throw it and get it off that spot and get through the pins. So, same spot. Try to make the same shot. Oh, I lost it. Oh! All right. Not my best. Yep. Nothing more to say about that shot. Maybe if I take a deep breath and really envision a bowler that strikes when the pressure's on. Oh, come on. All right, I need to think of a different bowler. Someone who's more clutch. Who would you guys think about? Who's the most clutch bowler of all time? For me, I mean, it's gotta be Mike Alvey or Dave Husted. Those are my two. If I need a strike for the money in their heyday, I'm going with those two. Those guys were tough as nails. And I need a ball return. I got the ball return situated there. All right, I'm gonna harness. Let's start with Houston first because I'm right-handed, so is he. Okay, that was thrown much better. So I didn't strike, so I'm gonna harness the power of the lefty. But I'm also gonna move in too because it keeps wanting to to come off that spot a lot harder now. So now, I'll be for the money. I'll even do the... That's in the soup. Oh. Seen a lot of those mixers. At least from Alby back in the day. All right, I missed in. Not my best. But it bit through the the oil in the middle. So that tells me if I actually throw it good, worth my, uh, worth my salt here, that the ball's gonna shape up nice. So let's try to do that. Maybe. Yes. Confidence was here. Now it's like, here. I like that. Better off the hand, still a little bit in on the zone, but came off it pretty nice and got through the pins because that is the most important part of ball reaction. Yep. Ah, oh, bad break. What I mean by that is that ball didn't go through the pins right, deflected a little bit, pins didn't fall down right. If you want to strike consistently, your ball has to go through the pin. So that'll tell you whether you're in the right ball or not. Pro tip. All right. 
Let's throw a couple more real nice ones here. Maybe I can move in a couple more if this one comes back, but right now I don't see a need to move any further left. That's a great shot. Come on, get out of there. <sighs> Messenger on camera. I think that's the first one, so I'm just gonna... With, with the medium diff, you know, this is not gonna be a ball with my specs, my rev rate. It's just not going to be a ball to uh, swing the whole lane. All right, this is fun. I can send some pins around, but let's uh, wait on this one really nice. Let's flush it out and, and call it a day. Yep. Yeah. Not the best pin rack in there. Not the best rack either. I should have re-racked. Well, that's what people don't do. They don't re-rack in ball reviews. I think you should. Why not? All right. Last shot. Let's pure it and go home. Like that. All right, you guys. That's my review for the DV8 Captivate. Brand new ball, brand new core, HyperConnect 22 Pearl. It's in your pro shops already, so go check it out.